hold up. Wait, where am I right now? Oh, hi, Dash. You finally woke up. Wait, wait, wait. What's going on? Why are there so many clothes on me? Am I dreaming? Oh, no. Don't worry, Dash. You're not dreaming. And, hey, yo. The, the, what's going on? Wait, are those my friends? Oh, uh, this is a strange dream I'm having right now. And, uh, the way Camp Ruby, guys, I don't think this is a dream. What's going on here? Wait, is that the real Dash? And, yes, yes, guys. It's me. I'm the real one. Hey, Dash, what are you doing hanging out with these people? You should be hanging out with us. And, uh, who even are you guys? Why is there so many of you? I have an idea. Let's get rid of these two. And the way, wait, what's going on? Hey, yo, look at the looks like it came in Ruby. Wow. Run, run, run. Guys, we gotta get out of here. I think my clones are going crazy. I don't even know why I have so many clones. Make them stop, Dash. Guys, come on, get blocks. We need a bridge out of here. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. There's a big iron bar wall. We have to go. Make your clones stop already. They're attacking me. And, oh, my gosh. Dash clones, stop attacking Ruby. Oh, don't worry. They'll be gone soon, and you'll be trapped with us. And Oh, gosh, oh, gosh, guys. We gotta get out of here. I think these clones are crazy. Everyone, just bridge over. Come on, get up here. Come on, come on. We need to go. Come on, come on. We just gotta go over here. Go, go, go. Get out. Oh, I made it. Phew, we escaped. Wait, where did Dash go? Everyone, run this way, this way. Go, go, go. Don't worry, Dash. I'll find you. And oh, my gosh. What in the world just happened? I don't know. I have no clue. The What in the world was that? I think I just got kidnapped by a bunch of my own clones. Yeah, I think they all had a crush on you, Dash. Oh, no. That's creepy. What do we do? Oh, no. Oh, no. I think they're going to come after us. Guys, we got to build some sort of safe base to defend ourselves. Oh, yeah. We got to protect ourselves. I cannot have the crazy Dash. That clone's trying to kill me again. Well, we have a lot of flat space over here. Let's just build here. Okay, okay. Well, the first thing we gotta do is build the walls of our base. And guys, we gotta make the walls super safe. We cannot have any of those crazy clones breaking in. Oh, yeah, you're right. We've gotta have so much walls. And, the, what? No, Cam, we're not building it out of yellow wall. We gotta build it out of some obsidian. This stuff is much stronger. Oh, yeah, uh, definitely. I, I, I did think about that. And yeah, guys, come on, come on. Let's just build a big obsidian box to start off with. And then we gotta build some more defenses around it. All right, I finished my side. All right, all right, nice. This is looking pretty good, but guys, we should should also probably do the same with the floor. Yeah, and the ceiling. This should be an entire obsidian box. Yeah, we cannot have anything getting in, but hold up, guys. I'm pretty sure we can do this faster. Let me just run the command slash slash wand, and we can just use a magic wand to instantly fill all of the floor with some obsidian. Boom. Here, we can also do the same with the roof. Oh, yeah, that's right. Let me just set this entire roof to some obsidian really quick, and boom. There we go. We now have a big obsidian safe box, but wait, wait, guys. We have a problem with this. How are we supposed to get in and out? Uh, well, we could probably make like an entrance right here. Here. Yeah, we have to make a door. Oh, yeah, we could put like a little door right here. And yeah, I guess a door could work, but hmm, we're gonna need to have a really strong door. We can't have any of those crazy clones getting in it. <gasps> Whoa, guys, what if we use one of these crazy doors over here? What, hanger door? Wait, what, hanger door? And Yeah, wait, hold on. I'm trying to put it down, but it's not working. And Whoa, wait, it's a three-block door. Okay, okay, I guess let's uh, make some room for that door really quick and then put that down over here. And <gasps> Whoa, check it out. This door is awesome. Oh, yeah, there's no way any clones are getting through this. Yeah, let's go. This door is much stronger than a normal door, but hmm, guys, what if we do if the clones just mine through it? Mm, yeah, that is a good point. Wait, why don't we do a lava wall? And <gasps> Wait, you're right a lava wall that could stop all the dash clones from getting near the door okay well i'm uh, here i guess what we should do is build a little wall out of obsidian we could build it out of obsidian first and then pull lava over top it that sounds really secure i'll start mining out the moat oh yeah yeah good idea good idea because we don't want the lava to spill all over our house or anything we just want a wall out of it so here let's just have this go all the way around our house this is looking pretty sick all right is this far out enough and yep i think that should be far out enough in fact maybe a little bit too far out i reckon we just stop it over here oh okay and here let me connect this side over to yours really quick and boom there we go that is looking pretty nice now what we got to do is put some lava inside of it so let me grab some lava and we can just put that down all over here like this and oh wait is it just gonna work oh wait hold on, hold on guys we need to put some blocks over here as well so that the lava doesn't spill all right and the gutters almost completely mined out let's go let's go this lava wall is looking sick there's no way any of those clones are getting through this oh yeah there's no way okay now the wall is done uh but how do we get into the base from outside and Oh, wait a minute. That is a pretty good point. We've got this wall to stop the dash clones, but how are we supposed to get through it? Hmm. Too bad we can't just jump over the wall or something. And wait a minute. Jump over the wall. That gives me a pretty good idea. Maybe we can get a jump boost potion and then use the jump boost to jump through the wall.
well, hold on. Is that going to work? Uh, yeah, but if it works for us, won't it work for the clones? Yeah, but the clones aren't going to have jump boost. That's the thing here. Let me just splash myself with jump boost really quick. And all right, can we just jump over it? And oh, yeah, we can certainly jump over the wall like that. Now we just need to find a place to hide the jump boost potions where the dash clones can't find them. Oh, what about inside the lava, like over here in the corner? And ooh, wait a minute. Inside the lava? That is a good idea. We could have like a chest underneath it. Ooh, yeah, this is perfect. They're never going to find it here. And ooh, yeah. Okay, this chest is perfect. Let's fill it up with a bunch of these jump boost potions. Now, boom, there we go. Now, whenever we want to go through the wall, we can grab one of the jump boost potions and we can just yeet ourselves over the wall. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go. But, um, wait, uh, it feel, makes me feel kind of weird that I can't see anything outside the lava wall. What if the clones come up and I don't know about it? And hold up a minute. That is actually a really good point. We really can't see anything past our lava wall. Uh, what do we do about that? Well, what about some cameras, guys? And, wait, cameras? <gasps> Whoa, okay, this could be a really good idea. We can have a bunch of cameras on the outside of our walls and then everyone also grab a camera monitor. We can connect the monitor to the cameras and then we can look through it and see exactly what's going on. Oh yeah, and then we can make giant observation towers. What observation towers? Yeah, so we get like a bird's eye view of everything. Ooh, okay, okay, that's a pretty good idea. I guess we can have like a one observation tower over here in the middle. We could just have like a big tower going all the way up over here. We can have a nice bird's eye view from here. All right, this is looking pretty good. Yeah, I can't wait. Do you think it's tall enough for the observation tower? I guess we can just put the camera over here, right? Ooh, that looks pretty nice. Oh, yeah, this is definitely tall enough. Okay, we have all these cameras here, but guys, this gives me an idea. What if we put a bunch of cameras near the clones? And <gasps> wait a minute. You mean like go over there and put cameras near them? That's actually a pretty good idea, but hold on. How are we going to make sure they can't see us? Um, let's just use invisibility potions. And <gasps> Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Good idea. Here, everyone, let's grab some invisibility and uh, everyone just huddle up over here on top of the tower. I'm going to splash it on all of us so that we all get invisibility. And wait, did it work? Is everyone invisible? Um, I think so. Can you see me? I'm holding a flower. And oh, yeah, yeah. I can see the flower, but I cannot see you. Okay, this is perfect. Here, uh, everyone, let's hold something so we know uh, the who's who. I'll be holding uh, this lava bucket. I'll be holding the chest. I'll just hold this flower. And all right, all right. Sounds good. Here, now let's just uh, start making our way over to the clones. We got to be really careful. We cannot let them see us. Yeah, this is kind of dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Here, let's just sneak past over here. We got to be really careful. A good thing there's a lot of trees that we can hide by. All right, all right. It looks like we're approaching their little prison area. And, all right, all right. There it is. <laughs> the cloning machine is working again. Soon there'll be thousands of us. And, wait, wait. What? Did you hear that? Hold on. I think that was one of the clones. They, they say clones. Cloning machine. Wait, what is that? Wait, what are the clones doing? Are they making more of themselves? And, oh, no. Uh, guys, I think this is why there's so many clones on me. They literally have a cloning machine. Oh, gosh. Well, let's put a camera here so we can see exactly what they're doing. And Okay, okay. Yeah, there's a pretty good spot to put a camera. But what the heck? They literally have a cloning machine. Let's just put this camera right over here in the tree. There we go. And okay, uh, should we put any more cameras? Um, I think we should. Just a couple more. And okay, okay. Let's put a bunch of cameras just spread out. I'm not going to hold anything right now so that the dash clones can't see me. But here, I'm just gonna put some cameras over here on this tree and i'll put another one over here on this tree really quick there we go okay okay all right Everyone on high alert. As soon as we see Dash, we'll bring him back here. And oh no, what the heck? Uh, guys, they are literally actively searching for me. Uh, yeah, we definitely have to keep upgrading the house. Hurry. Let's go back. And okay, yeah, I think we have enough cameras placed. Everyone back to the house. I'm going back. All right, all right, let's go. And oh, the, the, wait, hold on. We're all here, but we're kind of invisible. Let me grab some milk to get rid of my invisibility real quick. There we go. Let me just drink this. And okay, perfect. We're all here now. Alrighty, what do we build next? I don't know, but we have to build something really strong. I'm not sure if these lava walls and obsidian is gonna be enough to stop them. Did you see how many clones they were making in there? Yeah, definitely. This is not gonna stop an army. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Well, uh, let's see. What could we do? And <gasps> wait a minute, guys. Why don't we add some archer towers to our walls? That way we can see them when they're coming and then we could use bows to take them out. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh yeah, and then we can start taking the offense and start fighting back. Exactly. Here, guys, let's build an archer tower in each corner of the house and hold up. Uh, before I forget, I'm just gonna quickly grab a chest and I'm just gonna put down a chest over here inside of the house for my camera monitor. Oh, yeah, we cannot lose our camera monitors. We did not put them there for nothing. And, yeah, everyone, we gotta be really careful with those monitors. If they break, then we can no longer see what they're up to. But anyways, let's just finish up these archer towers. Uh, they should be pretty simple to build. We can just build them uh, about this high. Should be pretty good. Okay, is this the right height? Um, That looks a bit taller than mine, but I guess it's fine. I guess you can build the ones in the back taller than the ones in the front since they're gonna be farther away. Oh, yeah, well, mine is almost done. I just gotta finish up a little bit here. And Whoa, what? 
the heck? Wait, Cam, your building goes like really fancy. Well, it, I just made it a circle. It's not that fancy. It looks like a cop. Well, it's not that fancy. It's just a circle. Okay, okay, whatever you say. But anyways, guys, now what we need to do is actually put some weapons inside of our Archer Towers. I just put a chest on top of mine in here. Let's see. What type of bow could I put inside of here? And whoa, okay, there's a lot of different types of bows. Ooh, wait, there's an emerald bow. Hold on, I want to see what this thing does. Hold on, hold on. I'm just wanting a pig right over here. I need to test this thing out. Let me just put this guy down over here. And all right, let's see how... OP is this emerald bow and whoa it just one shot in the pig i was not expecting it to one shot it oh yeah and wait i'm gonna get this longbow of the heavens and wait longbow of the heavens that sounds very op and, oh my goodness look it's literally raining arrows whoa that is awesome and uh the wait cam the, oh, do you literally have like a cabinets and, and a couch and lamps on your archer tower yeah well i have to be comfy it looks like you're getting a little too comfy and, yeah what the okay well you know what fair enough that sounds kind of cool actually i'm gonna put a chair on my side as well let me just grab a purple couch really quick and put that down right over there let's go now we can sit down while taking out all the dash clones let's go but anyways here let me put this bow inside of my chest and oh also guys don't forget arrows those are gonna be very important oh yeah i'll get lots of arrows yep and make sure to put those in your chest and okay now the only thing we need is a way to actually get up to the archer towers because right now uh there's not really a way to get up Ooh, what we could do is just have a ladder over here on the side just like this and then i guess we can just uh have like a little bridge to get into the archer tower like the oh the, the, okay I, I that was an accident what, what in the world are you doing uh, I, okay i accidentally uh, put a pig inside of our lava wall for it's fine though uh, how did you accidentally do that uh but don't worry about it but anyways here i'm just gonna build this little thingy over over here and all right nice that looks pretty good now i actually have a way to get up to my archer tower anyway hold on i still need to put some more ladders and there we go now i have a way to get up yep me too and i just finished putting down my ladders let's go but okay guys we need to build one more archer tower over here in this corner because uh we only have three right now we gotta make it even okay um cam can you build another one of your comfy ones i'm uh, sure i guess here i'll start building the base of it and then you can build the, the round thing at the top all right that should be tall enough yep that is definitely tall enough here while you're doing that i'll go over here and place down the ladders near the bottom yep and i just put down more ladders over here nice nice let's go and hold on wait what type of weapon should we put inside of this one let me grab a chest and let's see what other types of bows are there and oh wait a minute what about a chroma lucky bow it's this rainbow one over here this looks awesome oh yeah we should definitely put that one in there Ooh, okay okay yeah this thing is pretty sick hold on i want to test it out against the pig let's see what is it gonna do and Oh, okay. I, I don't really know if, if it did extra damage or anything. It didn't really one-shot the pig. Mm, that is kind of weak. Uh, what about the Starbow? And wait, what the heck? Starbow? Oh, it's like yellow. It matches you. How much damage does it do? Let's test it out against the pig. Oh, it says it does 20,000. What? Yeah, I don't think anything stands a chance against this. Uh, okay. Well, hold on. If this thing does 20,000 attack damage, we should probably put them inside of the other chests as well. I'm just going to go over here and replace my Emerald Bow with some of these OP Starbows. Well, there's other bows that also do a bunch of damage too, Dash. And wait, Wait, there is hold on i want to check this out and whoa wait there's like a bunch of op ones here what the hold on this one over here does like two million it's called the red hyper giant star bow okay well i'm gonna put that one inside of my chest there we go nice and hold on before i put it in my chest let me test out how op is this thing oh okay it is definitely op and uh, what the heck is that ruby this is a cupid's love bow isn't it cute uh that is cute I, whoa wait you can like rapid fire it that thing is op this thing is awesome i'm gonna put it in my chest awesome sounds good but anyways now that we got the archer tower is done our base is starting to look more secure this thing kind of looks like a prison from the outside yeah but i think uh we're missing something don't prisons usually have like another form of defense and wait what what form of defense are you talking about i don't know like lasers or barbed wire or something and wait a minute lasers hold on that gives me a good idea yeah we should do lasers here let me go ahead and grab some lasers and yeah guys literally what we could do is just have um another layer of walls except this time it could be made out of lasers this should be pretty awesome check it out oh, awesome let's just put these around the entire base. Whoa, let's go. Let's go. And uh, Ruby, I want to be standing in there if I were you. Oh, okay. But anyways, yeah, here. We could just have this go around the entire base. This should be pretty sick. And all right, here. Let me place this last one. And boom, there we go. Now we've got lasers around the entire safe house. This should be pretty awesome. Now, if any of the dash clones try going through the lasers, they're just going to get burnt to a crisp. Wait, can we still jump over it? And oh, wait a minute. Hold on. That is a good point. How are we supposed to get past the lasers? I guess let's give that a go. And Wait, hold on, Cam. Are you stacking the lasers on top of each other? Uh, yeah, so it's even better. Mm, okay, but that makes the lasers really tall. I don't think we can really jump over it now. And we can't really even reach into the chest over here. Mm. 
if we can't get over it, then we need another way to get in. And yeah, you're right. Guys, uh, how are we supposed to get past these lasers? Let's see. What could we do? Hmm, maybe we could use some sort of redstone. And hmm, yeah, maybe an... Oh. Wait a minute, guys. Hold on. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, no. No, I'm not thinking that at all. What are you thinking? And, okay, well, pretty much what I was thinking is, you see how this hill lines up perfectly with our base? What we could do is build a flying machine inside of this hill that flies us over to our base, and then we could just drop in from the top. Oh, yeah, I was totally thinking that, uh, because I totally know how to build a flying machine. And, and, yeah, wait, I'm surprised that wasn't, like, the first thought that came to your guys' head as soon as you saw this hill. I don't think he knows what sarcasm is. Okay, okay, well, here, guys, what we need to do is clear out a little chunk inside of this little hill over here, and, oh, wait a minute, Kim, I have a perfect idea for what we could do. Let me grab some gravel really quick. And here, why don't we build a little door out of some gravel so that when we want to actually, like, activate the flying machine and get out of the hill, we can have it where it, like, drops the gravel and then the door opens up, you know? Oh, yeah, you mean one of those doors? Yeah. I can build that. And, okay, okay. Well, Cam, you're on the door. Uh, I guess I'll build the flying machine. What we need to do is grab some slime blocks and some pistons and also some observers. And here, what I got to do is build the slime blocks in this sort of shape like this. And then let me just put down a sticky piston right over here with an observer behind it. Whoa, this looks kind of weird. And yeah, hold on. It kind of does look weird. Did it work? Did I build it wrong? Okay, I don't know. Let's, let me try again. Let me put down another sticky piston over here with another observer. And oh, wait, it's working. It's working. Hey, yo, hold on. I gotta stop it. Oh, no, it's still going. Wait, I have to put obsidian on it. There we go. Hey, you messed up my door. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me fly the flying machine back into the little of uh, the parking area real quick. There we go. And okay, this, this looks pretty good. Okay, well, now that we know how that works, how are we supposed to get over here in the first place? And oh, uh, yeah, that is a good point. Ooh, what we could do is have like a little hidden entrance to get inside of this little room inside the hill. So I guess we can uh, like dig over here to the side of the hill like this. And then we can have like a hidden entrance over here and ooh, wait to make it even more hidden we could grab some vines and just put a bunch of vines down over here like this now it looks super like natural and hidden and blended in whoa this is pretty good wait maybe it's even better if we put down a ghost block and wait wait, wait a ghost block yeah so it's a block that we can just pass through but it looks like a real block <gasps> wait that's a banger idea and since the ghost block is made out of stone it should blend in like perfectly with like you know the surroundings so yeah that works perfectly this looks awesome let's go let's go and anyways cam how's that door coming along i'm excited to check it out. I've got the redstone ready. Now I just gotta build it. Ooh, okay, okay. Should we have some stairs so we can just jump onto it? And oh, the flying machine? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Here, let me grab some stairs really quick and just put those down over there like that. And hold up. The way that we have to activate the flying machine is by breaking this piece of obsidian over here, but that might take a while. So what about instead of having obsidian there, we just replace that obsidian with uh, a piece of glass. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that looks great. Yep, and now whenever we want to activate the flying machine, we can just break this piece of glass and it'll get going but hold up hold up let me stop it real quick there we go oh wait no i did not stop it oh sorry about that cam uh, do you guys mind i'm trying to build hold on, hold on wait i'm trying to get the flying machine back to where it was it, it's not moving to where i want it to go hey, fly. okay there we go now it's working stop playing around with the flying machine okay okay i'm sorry i was just testing it out but anyways is the door complete we gotta test it out uh, yep and there we go it's finished whoa okay that looks awesome the door looks super natural as well so uh, none of the dash clones are gonna suspect anything if they take a look at the hill Ooh, yeah now i want to see how it opens and yeah, yeah, wait, here, Cam, how do we open it? Oh, uh, well, first we have to get inside. So uh, where did you put that entrance? Oh, wait, we're going through the real entrance. Hold on, let me cover this up. The entrance is right over here. Wait, hold on, Cam, try to find it. We need to see if it's uh, hidden enough. Uh, it looks like uh, I have no clue where it's at. Is it over here somewhere? It's right over here. Check it out. Oh, yeah, that's super hidden. Yep, we got the vines and the ghost blocks and everything. All right, well, here, let's head inside now. And all right, how do we activate it? Is it this button over here? Yeah, we just got to press this button and check it out. And, whoa, that's... That is awesome. Okay, okay. And then the next thing we can do after the button is hit is we can fly the flying machine all the way over on top of our base. And hold up. Let me just build some blocks over here to line up to exactly where we're going to fly to. All right, while you do that, I'll get the uh, door set back up. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, go for it. I'm going to build a little flying machine landing platform right over here. This over here is going to be exactly where the flying machine flies to when we actually activate it. So here, we can just have the flying machine landing platform here like this. And then to quickly get down from there, we can have a little pool over here on top of our roof that we can just hop in. Oh, what a good idea. Let's go, let's go. 
this is awesome and oh, wait a minute ruby i think i know a way that we can make this idea even cooler what how let me grab some signs really quick and all right check this out let me just uh drain all this water over here real quick i'm gonna need you to hop out of that water oh thank you and here check it out what i'm gonna do is replace a bunch of our roof over here with some signs just like this and then if i place the water on top of it like that pretty much whenever we fall through we're gonna instantly land inside of our house whoa that's awesome yep a very tactical entrance i will say it oh kim i see you reset the door that is looking awesome yep everything's ready let's go let's go now we've got a way to actually get inside of our house but wait guys uh, we're definitely gonna need more defenses did you see how many clones they were making in there yeah there must be hundreds yeah and oh, wait i've got an idea wait, wait, wait what is it what's your idea oh these right here are called sentries and check it out wait wait, wait sentries what do they do oh it's kind of like a turret uh, hold on let me place down a zombie so i can show you and, whoa wait it's just like an automatic turret that is awesome okay yeah we gotta put a bunch of these all around the house here let's go ahead and just put the, them everywhere yep and let's put them all around the walls as well let's go let's go this is awesome hold on wait you're putting them on the lasers as well okay we have a lot of sentry turrets here we should probably test it out let me grab a zombie spawn egg real quick and all right here let's see how one zombie fares up to all of these sentry turrets here we go and Oh my gosh, those turrets just destroyed him. Whoa, it was like rain. Yeah, and we need to put these all around the entire base. Ooh, okay, okay, let's do it here. Let's put some over here on this laser wall over here. There is no way those clones are getting through this. Yeah, they don't stand a chance. And there we go. All right, this is looking awesome. Hold on, guys, we should try spawning in a zombie in the middle of all these turrets. So like inside of our house right over here. Oh yeah, let's see if one of them gets in what's happening. And, oh, whoa, check it out. All the turrets are just firing at that single zombie. Oh my gosh, that is actually crazy. And the zombie wasn't even able to move. That was awesome. Well, this is awesome, but um, these turrets are kind of small. What if we made a bigger one? And wait, wait, what? A bigger turret? How do we do that? I'm talking about a TNT cannon. And oh, wait a minute, a TNT cannon. That is a banger idea. And oh, wait a minute, guys. Why don't we build it on top of this tower over here? This was initially going to be like a little the watchtower for this camera, but we can have it be like dual purpose. Well, it's even facing the right way. <gasps> yeah, and wait, I got an idea. Instead of one TNT cannon? What about multiple? And wait, I like what you're thinking. Okay, okay, here. Let's just build this uh, little platform up over here where we can build the TNT cannons on. I'll build a staircase so we can go to the roof of the house. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Good idea. Yeah, here. We could just have this platform go off to this way a little bit like this. There we go. I think this platform should be big enough. And ooh, Kim, I see you're building the TNT cannons. Let's go. Yep, I'm getting it ready. Here, here, here. I'll grab all the redstone stuff we need. I'm pretty sure we need some redstone, some repeaters, and also a button and here let's put down all of this stuff over here like this there we go and here before we build anymore we should probably test out this first one over here to see if it actually works yep yeah, but uh, first we gotta fill up the actual dispensers with tnt and oh yeah hold on let me clear some of my inventory real quick i've got a bunch of garbage on me let me grab some tnt and all right let's fill these things up and there we go nice all right well here i guess uh, everyone ready for a quick test fire yes i'm ready three two one go let's do it let's do it let's see is the tnt cannon going to work come on in <gasps> whoa okay that was pretty awesome but uh, i i think it went a little bit too high we needed to like land on the floor oh yeah maybe it has too much power or or maybe we could just like decrease the delay over here we can just like replace that repeater with some redstone and uh let's try this this should work better i think uh, yeah maybe oh here we go here we go and oh wait hold on i actually i think what i was supposed to do is put more repeaters there instead of less hold on and oh wait maybe what we could also do is put a block on top of it like this so that the tnt bounces on the block and then goes and hits the floor that might work okay let's give it a test fire all right here we go Hopefully this works. Come on in. <gasps> Whoa, that was perfect. That was actually amazing. And now we can start stacking these. And all right, yeah, now it's time to mass produce these things. Here, let me grab a wand real quick. And here, let me just select this position and also this position up over here. And check it out. Now what we can do is just look this way and run the command slash slash stack to instantly duplicate the TNT cannon. And here, we can stack it multiple times. Let me stack it uh, two more times really quick. There we go. How about one more over here? And yeah, there we go. That's looking pretty good. We can also stack it once this direction. There we go. And all right, nice. Now we've got, how many is this? One, two, three, four, five different TNT cannons. Oh, that's a lot of buttons. Oh yeah, this is a lot of buttons. We should probably connect them first. And yeah, yeah, hold on. Uh, instead of having a bunch of buttons, let's just connect them all together with some redstone. Nice and, okay, we're probably gonna have to put some repeaters around here to not have like the redstone signal die out. So let's just put repeaters there like that. And okay, I think this should be good. All right, I've got a lever. Let's give this a little test fire in three, two, one. Here we go. All right, all right. Hopefully this works and hopefully it doesn't blow up our base. This looks pretty promising though. And 
Oh my god, that worked really good. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. And wait, we can make this even crazier, guys. <laughs> wait, 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 how so? What are you thinking? Well, if we select this corner here, and then we do a little bit of slash slash stack two. And oh, I see what you're doing. You're stacking it up vertically. Uh, okay, but hold on. Now we need to power all of them at once. No problem, we can use observers. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Here, let me grab some observers really quick. Uh, but I'm disconnecting the redstone because I, I, I want to wait for we test fire this and yeah yeah we do not want an accidental firing that would be very bad but yeah here we could just have like a big observer line going up all the way to the top and then we could have individual observers to power each layer like this this is looking pretty nice let's go i think that should be good and then we also need one more observer here and then wait no hold on we need this observer to go this oh wait actually yeah that works yeah, there we go and uh, that should be good now now all we got to do is connect the redstone again so let's put all the redstone down like that and okay should we uh take it for a test fire this looks pretty scary. I'm not gonna lie. Yep. In three, two, one, test fire. All right, let's go. In. Oh, okay. It looks like everything's working so far. Whoa, here we go. Let's see if it works. And oh my gosh, that was awesome. Oh my goodness. Let's go. And hold up. Wait, we got to check for any damage. Did anything malfunction? And no, it looks like we're all good. All the TNT cannons are still intact. Let's go. That worked so good. And I just finished the staircase. And whoa, okay. This is a really fancy looking staircase. This house is actually starting to look awesome. And wait, uh, we've got a lot of stuff inside the base protecting us, but what about stuff outside the base protecting us? And, ooh, okay, okay, that is a good idea. We do have a lot of stuff inside, and oh, wait a minute, guys, I think I have the perfect idea. What if we put some landmines down? Oh, yeah, that sounds awesome. Yeah, yeah, here, let me go into my inventory really quick, and whoa, check it out. Okay, there is a lot of different mines that we could use. Look, there's the simple mine, the bouncing Betty mine, the claymore, and also the intelligent munition system. And wait, there's even, like, hidden ones. Like, look at this one. It says it's a dirt mine. Wait, wait, a dirt mine? Hold on. I'm going to test it out. Let's see. Oh, it, it definitely works. Oh, my goodness. We should definitely put all of these around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Before you go crazy with the mines, we got to test out what these other ones over here do as well. Everyone follow me. We should probably test it out over here so we don't, uh, you know, make a bunch of explosions in front of our house. Oh, yeah. They might hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, everyone pull up over here and... Uh, Someone, uh, anyone got a zombie spawn egg? Uh, this is the intelligent munition system. It looks pretty crazy. Yeah, I got a zombie spawn egg of what's going on. What does it do? Oh, wait, hold on. Something just happened. And Whoa! What was that? Uh, hold on a minute. Wait, I'm pretty sure what this one does is make it so that it can blow stuff up from far away. So here, Kim, try spawning in a zombie like over here. And oh, wait, you spawned them in over there. And Whoa, check it out. Look, it, it hit the zombies from all Whoa, the way over here. What the heck? What? How is it doing that? It looks like the mines have rockets or something attached to them. And then the rockets go up and then hit whatever the thing it's trying to attack. And, oh, uh, guys, I think we kind of started a bit of a forest fire. <sighs> there we go. Got it. And, uh, what? Did you just blow it out? Yeah, I got big lungs. Uh, <laughs> what the heck? Right, well, anyway, we should definitely put these around the base. And, yep, definitely. We don't even need to see what the other ones do. Let's just grab some of these intelligent munition systems and uh, let's just put a bunch of these around the base. Let's go. Yeah, I'm just going to make a little uh, perimeter around just full of these things and then we could just uh, add, add more later. Heck, yeah, they're not going to know what hit them. Let's go. Let's go. This is awesome. Our base is starting to look really scary now. But, anyways, let's see. Are there any other types of traps that we could put on the outside? Outside of our base, let's see it. <gasps> Wait a minute, what is this thing over here? Cage trap? What is a cage trap? Wait, 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 hold on. I think I know what this is. Uh, let's try spawning a zombie on top of this. Let me grab a zombie spawn egg really quick, and I'm pretty sure what it's gonna do is spawn in a cage on top of it. So here we go, and uh, wait, why isn't it working? Oh, no, uh, guys, I think our mind's kind of uh, activated oh, there. Oh, dash. I forgot that those mines can do that. Okay, we should probably test the cage trap like far away. Let's go far out again, all the way over here. And okay, let's just try the exact same thing again. Let me try spawning a zombie on top of it. And but the, the, why isn't it working? Does it only work on like players? Maybe it has to like walk into it. Mm, okay, I don't know. Wait, hold on. Maybe it only works on players. Someone try walking over it. I wonder why it's not working. Hey! And oh, wait, it worked. Okay, I guess it only works on players. Let's go. This might be pretty useful, but let me out. And, yeah, yeah, here, I got you. Let me just break all of this. And whoa, wait, these are not normal iron bars. Hold on, guys. These are reinforced iron bars. That means it's going to be super hard for the clones to break out of it. Well, we should use these. Okay, yeah, we definitely got to put a bunch of these around the house, but let's get rid of this one over here for now, and let's just fill that in with grass, and all right, let's head back over to the house. We got to place a bunch of these. Oh, yeah, we can put them on the front line, so whenever the clones walk over them, uh, it captures them, and then our missiles hit them. Ooh, yeah, yeah, exactly. We can have them get trapped, and then the mine thingies can, like, 
go up and then hit them. This is gonna be awesome, but hold up. These things kind of do stick out. Is there any way we can make them like blend in with the surroundings more? Oh, wait, Dash, uh, what about this, the disguise module? And, wait, wait, the disguise module? Hold up, what does this do? Oh, uh, well, if you right click one of these cage traps, I think it disguises it. Hang on, maybe try using it on one of the cage traps? And, uh, okay, here, let me put down a cage trap over here and let's try it out and. <gasps> Whoa, guys, it makes the cage trap literally just look like a grass block. What the heck? Whoa, that's awesome. Yeah, and check it out. It works with any other block too, so I'm setting these to stone. <gasps> Whoa, that is awesome. Okay, okay, here, guys. What we gotta do is make all of these cage traps camouflage with the surroundings. So there's no way any of the clones are gonna be able to see it. Oh, gosh, be careful, guys. And oh, yeah, hold on a minute. Now that they're all camouflaged, we have to be careful not to walk over them ourselves. All right, well, let's just keep placing a bunch of these down. Yep, let's do it. Let's keep putting them all around the the house and hold up kim now that we can make them disguise we should do that same idea you had earlier we should just have like a big line of them in the front oh yeah that'd be awesome yeah yeah. here let's dig it out we can dig it out right over here we can just have like a big straight line going across this entire forest area this should be pretty good and here now we can start putting down all of the cage traps oh yeah i'm gonna put a giant line in front of our base now let me put the disguise module on all of them so that they just look like normal grass okay this is starting to look pretty crazy all right there we go my line is done nice and same here i've also got an entire line over over here of just cage traps. I don't even know where it is. I kind of lost it. Oh man, this looks awesome. But wait, can we have guards? Can we get iron golems? And wait, wait, wait. Guards? Hold on. That sounds like a pretty good idea. Ooh, we could have them inside of our walls over here so they don't step over any of the traps. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. Let's get a bunch of them. All right, all right. Here, let me grab some iron blocks and some jack-o'-lanterns. Oh wait, actually, I think we need carved pumpkins, not jack-o'-lanterns. Hopefully our turrets don't try to hit them. And oh yeah, hold on. Wait, are the turrets gonna try attacking them? Let me test it out real quick and uh, so far, so good. The turrets don't look like they're attacking them. I think the turrets only attack hostile things. Oh, let's go. We can keep them. Let's go. Okay, well, here. Let's just put in a bunch of iron golems in that case. We can have a bunch of them over here right outside of our house just in case any of the dash clones try to be sneaky and get in. Aw, they're so cute. Oh, wait, guys. Uh, what's this? It's a pumpkin called the golem head. And Whoa. Wait, it's like an enchanted pumpkin. Can we try using it? Yeah, I'm going to try using it with some yellow wool. Hold on. Let's see if this works. And, wait, what? You're going to make a yellow wool golem? And, uh, what the heck? is this? Oh my gosh, he must be so fragile. <laughs> I can't. This guy kind of looks like you. Well, how does he look like me? Look, uh, actually, uh, I, he kind of does look like me. Yeah, yeah, check it out. Look, he's got the yellow jacket and everything and oh, the way, hold, oh, oh, uh, no, oh. he's burning. Oof, that, uh, that didn't look fun. He left behind yellow wool for you. What? No. We have to do something about the, the lava the, touching the golems. And, yeah, you're right. Okay, that's going to be a big problem. We do not want these golems falling into the lava. What the heck? They're all just falling in. Okay, how about what we do is, ooh, we can just have like a glass wall around the lava. Oh yeah, I'm already on it. Yeah, we cannot have any more lost golems. That'd be very bad. This will keep them all safe. Yeah, rest in peace, Cam with a K. And wait, what? You're naming that like, wool golem that you spawned in? Uh, yeah, of course I did. Wow, Cam with a K. That's a very creative name. But anyways, um, now that we have all this glass around the lava, we gotta spawn in some more golems. And wait, wait, wait Cam, hold on. That golem head that you have, does it work on blocks other than yellow wool? Uh, I don't know. Here, take one. You could try. Wait, hold on. We need to find out if it works on purple concrete. Purple concrete's a really nice block. Let's see. Is this gonna work? And oh, whoa, we got a purple concrete golem. What the heck? He looks so weird. Wait, I wanna try using glass. Wait a minute. A glass golem? That doesn't sound like it'd be very strong. No way this actually works. And uh, what? You can make a glass golem? Whoa, he's kind of pretty. Wait, let's actually see how strong he is. Let's spawn in a zombie. Oh, yeah, yeah, guys, guys, guys. We got to test out their strength. Uh, the cam, I guess let's try spawning in a zombie. Hold on. Uh, what? It just two shot the zombie? Pretty strong. And whoa, wait, it just two shot it? Okay, that's actually pretty good. Wait, wait, what other types of blocks could we use? Wait, what about diamond blocks? We can check this. Wait, that's an awesome idea. Let's see it. Oh, and my gosh, it whoa, worked. Whoa, diamond golem. That is awesome. This guy must be like a much stronger than an iron golem. And, uh, it just two shot of that zombie. That is sick. Oh my goodness. There has to be stronger ones, right? Wait, wait, hold on, guys. What about a TNT golem? We should probably test this uh, outside of the house, though. Whoa, that sounds like an awesome idea if it works. Yeah, let's go back over here. Wait, wait, okay. I'm actually curious what this is going to be. Is it going to be like a creeper or golem mix or something? Uh, what's this going to do? And whoa, wait, it's a thing. It works. Wait, is it gonna blow up or something? What's it gonna do? And okay, so far it kind of just looks like a normal golem. And oh, oh, that's that's how it works. Whoa, that doesn't seem safe to have though. That kind of makes sense though. You're right. I don't think we should have it inside of the house. What about obsidian? 
Obsidian. And ooh, wait, wait. Obsidian could be really good. Since Obsidian is like a super strong block, maybe it'll make like a super strong golem. And oh, whoa, that thing looks super scary. Whoa, yeah, look at his eyes. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me grab a zombie spine. Let's see. How is this guy going to do against the zombie? Let's see this. Come on in. Wait, is he? Oh, there we go. Now he's attacking it. Oh, he just two-shotted it. That's pretty good. Mm, but it's still a two-shot. Is there anything that can one-shot? And yeah, true. That is a good question. We haven't found anything that can one-shot yet. Wait, what about the strongest Minecraft block ever? <gasps> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, I'm thinking bedrock. Ooh, wait, bedrock? Okay, okay, good idea. Let's try it. Let's try putting this bedrock down and then putting the golem head on top. Let's see. Is it gonna work? Come on, go for it. And wait, uh, it didn't work. And uh, uh what? Can we not have a bedrock golem? Uh, I don't think so, but wait, no, there's a bedrock golem spawn egg. Wait, what? There is? Yeah, it says it's too strong, so we can only spawn it through an egg. Whoa, what the heck? So the bedrock golem is a real thing, but hold up. Is this guy gonna be able to one shot? And oh, look at his face. He looks so derpy. Come on, let's see how strong he is. All right, all right, let's see a bedrock golem. Let's see what you got. Come on. Wait, he's not taking any damage. <gasps> he just one shot at the Whoa. zombie. And he didn't take any damage. Look, the, the zombie can't damage him. Wait, hold on. Does that mean this guy's invincible? Hold up. And yeah, wait, he's already not taking any damage. I think that means he's invincible. Let's go. This is awesome. Oh my goodness. We need to put a bunch of these around the house. All right, here, guys, take some spawn eggs. And ooh, okay, okay. Thank you very much. Let me grab one of these bedrock golem spawn eggs. And all right, uh, yeah, let's just uh, put a bunch of these inside of the house. Yep, just a ton of these. Let's go, let's go. There is literally gonna be no clone sneaking past these guys. Oh man, we're gonna be so safe in this house. Let's Let's go, let's go. But anyways, guys, speaking about the actual house itself, we haven't really built anything inside of this. Oh, you're right. We're probably gonna need like a place to sleep and oh, what about an armory? And yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. We're definitely gonna need to have some sort of armory room and like living quarters. Let's do that. Here, let me just grab some beds really quick for the living quarters. And oh, wait, guys, what if we build a bunk bed? Oh yeah, I call top bunk. And, no, 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 it was my idea. I'm getting the top bunk. Uh, well, I am going to place it down for, oh, never mind. Yeah, I'm already placing it down. Everyone's getting purple beds. Uh, what? No, I don't want purple beds. I want want my own yellow bed. Oh, too bad. Purple is the only color they had. Uh, no, it isn't because it's right here. And, ew, did you pee on the bed? No, I didn't pee on the bed. It's just yellow. I don't know. That kind of looks like pee to me. Ew, Kim, how, why did you do that? I did not. Uh, now this whole place is starting to smell funky. You smell funky. Okay, well, anyways, the bunk beds look pretty nice, although I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I kind of got scammed. Top bunk over here. It looks a little bit cramped. I can't lie. Well, that's your fault. You want it. Anyway, uh, what are we doing in the armory? And oh, yeah, yeah, we need to do the armory next. I guess what we could do is... Ooh, let me grab some glass. This could be really cool looking. Let me grab... <gasps> Ooh, what about some reinforced glass? We could have like a little reinforced glass room over here for the armory. We just have it be in this corner of the house over here. All right. Let me just build all of these glass walls real quick. Boom, there we go. And then here on the inside, now we can put all the armor down and hold up. How did this bedrock golem get inside of our house? Uh, I think from the roof. Oh yeah, he probably went through the water thing over there. But anyways, here, what we could do in here now is grab some armor stands. Oh yeah, I'm making my area right here. Ooh, okay, okay, and here. I'll make mine on the opposite side. And, whoa, wait, you're making your area look pretty fancy. Uh, yeah, of course I have to. Wait, can someone build me one too? And Oh, yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. I'll build you one as well. Let me just uh, put some stuff on my side really quick. I'm gonna make mine out of these purple glazed terracotta. And uh, Ruby, I I'll make yours out of purple as well. Ooh, okay. There we go. We have two armor things over here and here. Let me also grab a chest where we can put the gear in. And I'll just put the chest over here on each side like that. And all right, now I need to find what type of armor I'm gonna use. Let's see. What do we got here? And whoa, wait, hold on. This armor here looks looks pretty cool. It's called the galaxy armor and it's like kind of purple. Let me see. What does this stuff look like? It, whoa, this looks awesome. Well, not as cool as mine. Whoa, wait, what the heck is that? I can like see that. Yours is like real galaxy armor. You can like see the whole galaxy in it. Uh, yeah, it's called infinity armor. What the heck? Okay, well, uh, th this galaxy armor still looks pretty cool. I I'm gonna put this on th my armor stand. Let me just put it there like that. And uh, here, Ruby, you're gonna get the same armor as me. Yay! Let's go. But anyways, now we need to figure out what to put inside of the chest. So let's see. First, we need to find a weapon. Ooh, we have bows already. So let's get swords. And wait, wait, Cam. I think I found the perfect sword for you. It's called the Ice Void Sword. The Ice Void Sword? What in the world is that? I don't know. But look, it's got like pee coming off of it. Hey, I, I, now that you said that, I don't want it. <laughs> what, dude? It's a perfectly fine sword. Look, it literally does a million and one damage. I don't care. Don't want it. Okay, okay. If you say so. But yeah, let me find another sword for myself. Let's see. What could I use? And ooh, wait a minute. What about this? one it's called the black hole sword and it it literally does nine million uh, trillion seven hundred thousand nine hundred i found a sword for you though and wait you did what is it oh uh, it's it's specially made for you check it out and uh, dude, that's not a sword. It, it's poop. Why, why is it so big? Uh, it is a sword. Look at how much damage it does. <laughs> why does this poop do 29 attack damage? Uh, because it's specially made for you because you're a poopy head. I, I am not a poopy head. You know what? Here, Ruby, you can have this sword if you want. Ew, no, I don't 
don't want this sword. Well, uh, I guess we can just leave it in the middle then. We'll all just have to walk around it every time we want to get into the armory room. And guys, we can't forget OP food. I, I'm putting some of these OP void apples in my chest. And wait, what? OP void apples? What are those? Whoa, those look pretty sick. Hold on, I might have to snag some of those. Here, let me put my weapon inside of my chest as well. And I'm just going to put some of these wait, OP void apples awesome. around it as well. But what about ultimate stew? And whoa, wait, ultimate stew. What? It's like changing colors and stuff. What is this? I don't know, but it looks awesome. You're right. It does look pretty awesome here. I guess I can put two stacks of that inside of my chest over here. And all right, what else? We've got a lot of food, but we need some more like the weapons and stuff. Hmm. Wait a minute. What about a thunder staff? This thing looks pretty crazy. Whoa, that's huge. Hold on, wait. I want to test it out. What's it going to do? In oh, Aye, the way it strikes house. lightning. Yeah, I don't think that was the best idea to test it out in the house. Did we do any damage with that? Uh, let me see. And uh, no, everything looks fine. Well, be careful. We have TNT cannons. And, oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, I got to be careful with this thing. I'm just going to put it in my chest and just leave it there until I need it. Yeah, but my stuff's ready. And wait, what it is? What do you have? All right, well, I have got my entire armory set up and check it out. I've got this thing called the sun's blessing and uh, I, I I can shoot fire. Wait, what? You can Whoa, what the heck? That is uh, pretty crazy. Okay, I definitely need to find some more cool weapons I can put inside of my thing. Oh, what is this thing right here? And wait, what, what is it? Whoa, wait, is that like an ender pearl or something? Endest pearl? It looks like a weird ender pearl. Hold on, wait, what does it do? Can I throw it? Um, we should probably test it outside of the house. Yeah, fair enough. If we don't know what it does. Uh, here, I guess let's go over here to our testing spot again, all the way over here. And uh, I guess I'll try throwing one this way. Let's see what it does. It uh, wait, is that a black hole? What the heck? Oh my gosh, what else does it do? Whoa, wait, it's literally just eating up everything around it and what? It blows up? Whoa, that is awesome. Oh, I'm gonna put a few of those in my chest. Don't mind if I do. And, oh yeah, same here. Thanks for the idea, Ruby. These things are awesome. Let's use them carefully. And yeah, we do not want to get engulfed in those black holes ourselves. But anyways, I'm just gonna put a bunch of them inside of my chest. There we go. And all right, I think my chest is fully filled. Let me just copy this chest and put it over here on this side as well. And nice, there we go. My gear is is fully complete. Uh, but guys, there is a lot of clones. What if her base gets overrun? Huh? What do you mean? And hmm, that is a fair point. We do have a lot of good defenses, but it's true. There still is a lot of them. Yeah, like what if they get in? We're gonna need like some sort of way to escape or something. And oh, wait a minute. Yeah, you're right, guys. We need to build some sort of hidden escape route. Oh, I see. Oh, wait, I've got an idea. You know that flying machine we have to get in? What if we have a tunnel that goes there and then another flying machine that goes away? Oh, uh, yeah, I like that idea. All right, all right, let's do it. Uh, we just gotta build a tunnel to go over there now. I guess we can just dig it over here this way like this. Wait, wait, hold on. Can someone go up on the surface and look through my name tag and tell me which way to go? Uh, yeah, just keep going straight. All right, all right. I am currently going straight. Oh, wait, there's some gravel here. Hold on. There we go. Yep, just keep going. All right, all right. I am keeping going. Go, 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 up, 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 up. Whoa, wow, you're so far away. Dude, okay, hold on. I have to go back now? Uh, yeah, hold on. Uh, stay in the tunnel and I'll come down and meet you. Uh, okay. All right, I think I'm on the same level as you guys. If I just go this way. And oh, there we go. Perfect. The two tunnels connected. And wait, you have a tunnel going to the other room. Let me check it out. And oh, yeah, perfect. Oh, wait, there's all the redstone from the door. And oh, okay, perfect. Yep, now we just need to take a ladder up. Nice, there we go. And all right, now that we have a tunnel to get here from our base, now we got to build a flying machine that goes the opposite direction. So here, I guess let's just clear out some space over here. Let me grab another wand and let me select this position and also this position all the way out over here. And let me set this to air. Boom, there we go. Hold on, wait, we got to dig a little bit further farther out over here. And, oh, wait, Cam, do you want to build another one of your doors? Oh, yeah, give me one second. Wait, instead of that, why don't we just use ghost blocks? And, oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, but, wait, hold on, can the flying machine go through ghost blocks? Um, I hope so. Hold on, hold on, wait, we should probably test this out before we use ghost blocks officially. Let me just, uh, put all of these materials down over here for the flying machine, and, oh, there we go, it is moving, let's see, does it work, and, ah, uh, it does oh, not work. Oh, it didn't work. All right, well, Cam, I guess you're gonna have to build another one of those fancy doors. Ah, uh, fine. All right, all right, but, anyways, the second flying machine is official officially done. Now what we got to do is build another one of those doors here. And Cam, since I have nothing else to do, I guess I'll just help you out with it. We got to clear out a big area down here for the gravel to fall in first. Yep. And then here, the next thing we can do is just put a bunch of sticky pistons down over here like this. Or wait, we don't even have to use sticky pistons. We can just use normal pistons. You know what? It doesn't matter. Let's just use sticky pistons. Oh yeah, this is looking good. Let's go. Let's go. Now let me grab a redstone torch and put that down right over 
here to power everything nice and here Kim now you can start putting down the gravel everywhere and here now all we got to do is just add a lever to like activate it so here we can just have some redstone going in like this there we go and there we go the gravel set up nice 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 so is the redstone I'm almost done I just gotta have this wall over here like this and let me put a lever here and this should work and yes it works perfectly Ooh, yay! now let me close it again and then we gotta put down all the gravel down once more and there we go and okay perfect that works but here we should probably make the outside look a little bit more natural we don't want anyone finding out about this yeah just to be sure there we go that's looking pretty good but anyways now that we've got the escape route done and the entrance done and all the defenses what else do we need to build wait guys we should probably check on the clones we haven't checked on them in a while wait a minute hold on that's probably a good idea we haven't checked on the clones in a while there could be like thousands of them now oh yeah we gotta go check okay okay everyone quick in the house i put my camera monitor inside of this chest over here let me just grab it really quick and all right all right let's see what's going on and oh no uh guys there is a lot of clones oh no come my clone army let's go get dash oh no uh, guys there is literally so many of them I, I i think they're coming towards our house i think they know where we are wait that is terrifying all right clone army let's go get dash and bring him back here forever oh no uh guys i think we should probably go to the armory room i think they're heading towards us quick everyone let's go get our armor get our armor come on oh my gosh go 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 quick 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 let me grab all of the, this galaxy armor really quick there we go in here everyone don't forget to grab your weapons come on grab everything grab everything there we go okay i think i have everything up and then now let's go fight everyone we have to head to the archery towers first go 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 go, go. And, uh wait a minute guys i think we have a problem the turrets are shooting at me ow wait why is it doing that oh no uh this isn't good but uh the wait guys oh, no. i think our minds are working look the minds are attacking the army over there don't worry i'm gonna go for the tnt cannon while they're in front and oh yeah yeah good idea good idea and, oh wait uh, guys they're all right there hey yo dash goes what are you doing here and, um wait cam i don't think the tnt cannon worked oh no oh no what happened something went wrong oh gosh turn it off turn it off <laughs> there you are dash we're coming for you and, oh no oh no guys uh, did you hear that they're coming for us and, what do we do um use the endus pearls oh yeah you're right you're right good idea okay here let's throw them in uh, the way ah what the heck ruby i think we missed um you missed you hit me what the heck is wrong with you guys everything is going wrong all right come on we just gotta fight them by hand we gotta get rid of these guys and, okay okay yeah everyone let's just hop down over to the battlefield and all right come here dash clones you guys are going down and oh no oh no uh, guys they are literally all on me what is going on come on get them get in my army come here dash and oh my gosh there are literally so many of them yeah. guys all together come on use the pearls guys um okay i'll try to spot a golem they're literally all after me oh gosh oh gosh i'm gonna throw more of these endis pearl things on them take this yes the black hole is working no yeah dash there's still a lot of them left oh no there is still a bunch okay i'm just gonna start using my bow on them take this come here dad and oh my gosh stay away from me you crazy clones <laughs> oh no oh no wait i think they're after ruby i can we have to go save ruby help me help me run 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 here i'm just gonna hold them off come on and oh my gosh there is actually so many we gotta go we gotta go come on come on uh, guys this isn't working they're doing too much damage back to the house hey, okay okay everyone quick we have to go back to the house to the flying machine you're never getting away from us dash and hey yo stay away you crazy clones come on come on everyone to the machines and okay okay there we go i made it to the secret entrance and i think we should be good in here yeah i'm ready get in where did you go oh gosh oh gosh okay everyone quick hop on the flying machine wait Kim, where's ruby at i have no clue guys you left me behind oh no uh, we have to go get ruby ruby where are you at i'm in the secret tunnel and oh okay wait there you are all right quick everyone into the room with the flying machine we gotta go come on come on come on come on quick quick, quick. everyone hop on it uh, wait here let me hit the button to open up the door there we go all right now everyone be ready the flying machine's gonna move and we have to like follow it okay okay let's go all right here we go and yes we're moving all right go 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 hey, Dad, what are you doing up there and oh no oh no uh, guys all the clones are literally right there uh, be careful i'm just jumping for it come on come on come on and yes we made it okay now let's hop into the house real quick come on hey guys there he is get him oh no oh no i guess i think the clone spotted us we gotta go okay well we're in the house now so where do we go to the archer towers again uh i guess so everyone back up to the archer towers we have to try the bows again and oh no all the turrets are shooting at me again i think they're malfunctioning i think our base is turning against us i think the crazy clone like hacked or something oh man i want to go to sleep i wish this was a bad dream oh no oh no okay well here everyone back up to the archer towers there's way too much water i can't get there wait dash i think the clones have breached the base like there's a hole and oh no wait uh, they broke it into the house uh, guys what do we do hold on i'm gonna try using my thunder staff on them take this come on and wait hold on that one's not working why isn't my thunder staff working anymore what's going on Dash. our base is completely overrun i think we need to go i'm going to the escape and, route oh no yes, hey, yo, run run away. Away. 
Hey! Dash, come on. You're coming back with us. And oh my gosh, go away. You're not getting away. Come on, guys, to the escape route. We need to go. Okay, okay, I'm trying to go to the escape route. Uh-uh, wait, they're doing a lot of damage. Hold on, I need to try eating some more of these void apples. Come on, come on, and yes. Okay, I'm back to full health. Come on. Dash, where are you? We're at the escape route. Uh, I'm trying to come. There's so many clones on me. Okay, hold on. Let me just go in. Oh, no, there's even more inside the house. Guys, what do I do? Hold on, I'm coming outside. I'm coming to help. Oh, Dash, we're here. Oh, my gosh. Okay, uh, then what do I do, guys? Uh, where are you? I can help. Damn, I see your name tag. Okay, I'm just gonna try running to you. I need to get up to the house really quick. And yes, there we go. I made it. Okay, go, 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 go. Come on, go. And wait, you replaced the floor with ice. Nice. That makes it we can go faster. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, up. Come on, come on. We gotta go. Oh, Dash, come on. Don't you wanna play with us? Come on. And, uh, uh, no, I, I really do not tear. Everyone, click on the flying machine. Go, go, go. And up oh, the way. It looks like the door is already opened. Uh, I think we're ready to go. And oh, we're going. Go, 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 go. No. <laughs> Let's go see you, crazy clones. Wait, where'd he go? Did we let him get away? Let's go. That was pretty crazy. And if you want to watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now.